Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yesterday, uh, Afro Thunder, one of our users at live.perillo.com, yes, he uses and abuses this channel oh so often, but that's okay. We love him. He's even sent pictures to my digital photo frame, and you can find out how to do the same thing if you come over to our live chat room and ask. He was specifically asking yesterday about how to manage wallpapers across his dual monitor system. Now, I have two monitors. They're connected to the same computer, and believe you me, that does increase productivity. I've blogged about that in the past. But as far as managing two wallpapers, or one wallpaper on this monitor and another on the second monitor, it's a little tricky to do. Windows doesn't really have the tools. Then again, that comes to no surprise. There are a few sites out there that have dual monitor wallpapers ready to go, like mandelux.com, interfacelift.com has got a few. There's a few wallpapers at WinCustomize. There's deviantart.com. I like looking on Flickr and Zoomer. There are tons of places you can go if you want to find uh, really cool wallpapers for your desktop. But just specifically, specifically, if I can get through that word, uh, managing two wallpapers or making it work, uh, an image or a set of images work on your particular desktop, you're going to need to take matters into your own hands. It's not all that difficult. You've got a key on your keyboard you've probably used before, but you didn't really know what it was doing. Print screen. I'm going to tap it. Nothing really happens. Nothing on screen changes. But what happens when you press the print screen key in Windows is that a image of your desktop, your entire desktop resolution is captured to the clipboard. You can open up an image editor, your favorite one, and then usually you can go into the edit menu if there happens to be one. There may be an option that says paste as new image. Go ahead and select that. Then essentially an image should be dropped into your image editor that is essentially that screen capture of your entire desktop. Now from here in my image editor, I can do anything I want. I mean, as long as your image editor can do it. I can put a graphic here, text here, whatever. When I'm done, I can save it out wherever I wish to my, my pictures folder, say. And then from there, set it as the wallpaper, however you choose to set wallpapers on your system. Some people right-click the desktop, change desktop background under the personalized tab. It just depends. I'm not going to go into all the different ways you can set wallpapers on your system. But that is the easiest way you're going to get the most control over your two monitors and the wallpapers that belong on each one. Uh, well, at least the wallpapers that you want to belong on each one. Even uh, some people have recommended Ultramon, it's shareware. I found that even though it's more powerful in terms of uh, managing two monitors, it still doesn't give me as much control as when I actually edit the true resolution of my two screens in some kind of image editor. It's fun. Give it a shot.